What's good, Wealth Builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about the 12 skills that millionaires master. So let's go. Now tune into the greatest. <laughs> All right. There is 11 things according to value attainment. All right, that millionaires master. And we're going to discuss them and give you my viewpoint. Okay, that's so you can really hear from a regular dude viewpoint of what the value attainment um, video discussed. Okay, plus I have one other skill that millionaires master. So that makes 12. Okay, so there you go. So they talk about 11. I give you an extra. Yeah, I mean, give you a little extra, a little extra. All right, so quick disclaimer. This list is from Valuetainment, and this is my response to the list. This is not my list. I didn't think about everything. I, I, I'm just responding to what they said, okay? Also, I'm reading from my notes. So if I look down, don't be mad at me, okay? Don't be upset. Don't, don't click off the video. I like to give you a full scope of what I'm talking about, okay? I don't want to go just from my brain because I'm always thinking about a million and one things, all right? So, without further ado, let's talk about the 12 skills millionaires master. All right, so, number one, persuasion. According to Valuetainment, you have to master the skill of persuasion on all levels. You, it could be in your emails, it could be in your videos, it could be in your one-on-one -on -one presentations, it could be in interviews. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter, okay? And I agree with that because persuasion is a form of selling. Either you're selling an item, selling a, a, a digital product, selling a sign-up, selling yourself, doesn't matter, okay? You're always selling. So, and if you're not selling, then you're not willing. Simple as that, okay? Number two, you have to learn how to read people, okay? I can't front, sometimes I can't read people. Sometimes I have a problem with this and it's definitely something I need to learn, okay? Because reading people is a skill you must master no matter where you are in life. You need to read people on a job. You need to read people in your personal life. You need to read people in your business, finding out what people want from your business and what you should be selling to them, what they want. Because if you're selling something, basically you're a problem solver. You have to solve a problem for everyone, okay? So if you're not reading what that person wants, you know, to be solved, then you won't know what to give them. So reading people is definitely a skill you need to learn, okay? You need to master that. Number three, sharing the wealth. Okay, now, we're not talking about giving away all your money, okay? Or giving up half of your money or anything like that when sharing the wealth, okay? What basically what Valuetainment is saying, okay, they're going to explain that when you sharing the wealth by getting other people rich, they're more likely to work with you. And if they're willing to work with you, then they're more likely to help you make money. OK, I really like this idea because I always want to help people make money. So if I'm helping people make money, they'll help me make money because I'm sharing the wealth. OK, one hand washes the other. So it's simple, but. You know, sometimes you don't think of the simplest things. Number four, leverage. Okay. You need to have leverage in all shapes and forms. With all the technology we have online, you can create a big business online just by outsourcing tasks. Okay. Like for instance, everything I do online, I don't do. <laughs> okay. Let, let's get that clear. I don't do everything okay like for instance for some of my seo work for my for my websites for my e-commerce websites i outsource some of that stuff okay so i don't you know i don't have to spend so much time doing that i can do other things okay that can help my business girl that's pretty much what it is you have to create leverage you have to gain some type of leverage and it's easy all right number five recruiting all right, when it comes to online marketing, 
you don't have to recruit that hard recruit that hard okay so if you're an online marketer so like if you you know you have an e-commerce website or even if you're selling products in different forms or different ways you're not recruiting per se you're just putting products in front of the right people that's so they can purchase those products and you get a commission right right now if you are in mlm type of companies multi-level marketing companies which are great you know there's so many out there but you know if you're an mlm and you're that type of marketer you have to learn to recruit okay you have to learn to recruit and and another thing if you have your own business so like you have an offline business maybe you have a bakery I always talk about food right or maybe if you have like a um I don't know, a sports goods store, something like that. You have to recruit good employees. You have to do some type of recruiting to get good employees. That's how you have a good, good business going on. That's how you can make money. So you definitely have to learn how to recruit in all types, all forms of business, basically. Number six, energy is everything. This is a good one, okay? You should create a workout routine because your health is your wealth. In Valuetainment video, they go a little bit further and deeper, but I just want to let you know that you should have some type of routine weekly, you know, working out, trying to eat healthy, things like that. That's so you can stay mentally and physically fit. That's so you can run your business optimally. Huh, that's a big word, right? But anyhow, number seven, how to process issues. I totally agree with this, okay? If you don't know how to process issues, you won't know how to work around things, okay? You will need to identify the issue or problem and find a solution to that problem. Simple two-step process. But a lot of people don't know how to make this process work for them, okay? And sometimes some problems we know how to work and we, you know, we make it happen and some problems are like, ha. Ah, I don't know what to do, then that's when you have to learn how to outsource and find good people, get a team of people that can help you with whatever problem it is, whatever problem it is that you need to have worked out. Uh, don't mind me, I'm high off of coffee right now. Like I've been gunning coffee all morning. All right, so number eight, time management skills, okay? Time management skills, you need to master this because this can make you rich or make you broke simple okay you ever heard the saying we all have the same 24 hours in a day and it all depends how you use them that's basically it okay we all have 24 hours a day and some people get up and they go and they do whatever needs to be done and they get it done and they don't cry and bitch and moan they just get it done and then some people don't get it done and those people are usually ones that's broke or struggling or not progressing in their life or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're just stagnant because they're not getting it done. They're not getting up and making it happen, okay? Time management. Lots of time. Get it done. Get out. Get in, get out, and go. Simple, right? Number nine, money management. This is a real big one, okay? But you don't have to follow my strategy, biotainment strategy. Any one strategy, you can find your own strategy, but you have to learn to manage your money, okay? And I'm not saying I'm the greatest at managing money because I have to learn too. I have to, you know, constantly learn, actually, day by day, month by month, get better. Sometimes make make a step back, make, make, make a wrong move, spend something that I wasn't supposed to spend, and then end up kind of double back, but... Hey, we're all, we're all people, we're all humans, we all make mistakes, but if you're trying to grasp money management, this will definitely help you become a millionaire or become successful, whatever you want to call it. Okay, number 10, staying patient. You can't rush success. Okay, and I, I rush sometimes, I get, I get mad at certain things that are not working out right now. I know it's going to work out if I stay with it, but it's not working out right now. So I'm pissed because the time management, I mean, the time management might not be working out and I need to stay patient, but I want it right now. Hey, like I'm saying, you, you have to be patient, okay? But you have to work like it's coming tomorrow. I know it's crazy. Like you have to, what they call, what the army says, what is it? Um, work while you wait. Work work while you wait. Basically, you have to constantly be working towards your goals and waiting for it to happen. That's what patience is. 
All right. Number 11, learning. If you can master learning, then you'll have a better chance of becoming a millionaire than the average person or just a successful in whatever you want. Okay. You have to learn, either learn your craft, learn your business, learn a new business, learn new things. Don't think you know everything about everything, even if it's something that you've been doing all your life. Maybe you've been cooking all your life and you know how to do things. You know these recipes like the back of your hand and you're so good at it. But sometimes you need to learn a little bit more. Maybe you want to take a class just to refresh her. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want to upgrade your skills and learn from the best of the best of the best. You know, you got to keep learning to keep progressing, to keep growing. Because if you're not learning the nine times out of ten, you're dying. Simple. Your business is dying. Your personal life is dying. Some part of you is dying because you're not learning. Okay. Now, I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. So the 11 skills the Millionaire's Master video by Valuetainment is cool. I think I have the, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm put the link in the description. Haven't watched the video in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and look for the link. But the link should be in the description if you want to take a, take a check out of that video. All right, so number 12, which is my creed, okay? You have to over deliver, okay? This one, you have to give more to receive more. For example, when you're selling something, give a little extra than normal salespeople do. Throw in a t-shirt or any other freebie that you can come up with, maybe a coffee cup or, or something that they can always have that always remember your company, okay? Maybe you, you want to give these people these things so they can be like, hey, I remember that company. Hey, maybe you want to purchase something in that moment that you gave it to them, but like a month down the road, they might just head over and purchase something or they might refer somebody to you. Okay. Now, um, you will definitely make a customer for life if they're interested in what you're, what you're selling. Okay. Because you over delivered, you are the one that gave them something to hold. Okay. And you can do this with everything. Okay. You can over deliver in your um, your work life at your job. Okay. So you want to be the go-to guy at your job. You want to be the guy that, Hey, when, when I call, um, David, David answers and he has all the answers. And if he doesn't have the answer at that moment, he goes and finds the answer for me quick, fast, in a hurry. I always, the David is the greatest guy. I like this guy. And you know, when, when, uh, when the, the raises come up or the promotions come up, you're one of the first people they think of because you over deliver. You give them something to remember. Over delivering, okay? You can do this in your relationships with your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your husbands, your wives. Over deliver. Give more than expected. And people will always remember you and always help you. And that's how you become successful and a millionaire, okay? So, these skills are not to be mastered in one day, all right? So, let's get that clear, okay? These things are stuff that you have to do daily, okay? You have to work on these daily and get better and better as time goes on, all right? So, don't delay. If you haven't already, get your pen and pad out, man. Watch this video again and write down all the, all the steps, okay? All the things you need to master and focus on at least one or two of them at the same time get those going feel good about those and then step on to the next ones all right so hope you got some great insight with this video subscribe to my channel don't forget to get your free gift in the link below okay it's my wealth builder six figure formula teach you how to make money with youtube okay do remember wealth builders make more save more build more peace <laughs>